And ask myself what's my favorite video game the answer to that's changed a ton over the years but if we're talking especially on pc it's gotta be subnautica subnautica developed by unknown worlds holds a really special place in my heart i made some poor choices as a kid when it comes to you know buying computers matto are you doing your homework yes mother matto said with confidence when I first dished out my V-Bucks to buy my very first gaming PC from HP, specifically the Omen that looks like Optimus Prime's left nutsack. I am going to turn into a truck now. Autobots, it's transforming time. Also, did anyone else spend stupid amounts of money on a pre-built computer, thinking because I had the word NVIDIA plastered on a sticker? that you turn into some, like, gamer god. I don't know, I hope I wasn't the only one. Subnautica was the game I played on that new PC. Anyway, it wasn't my first experience with PC gaming as a whole, because I still remember getting raided on Rust Legacy by someone's dad back on my old shitty laptop. But Subnautica did something to me the first time I played it. Its aesthetic, music, graphics, and everything else wonderful about it made me feel something no other survival game has made me feel since. That includes, but not limited to, crapping my pants because of the big fish. What is that thing? Oh jeez! Oh no! Ah! Ah! Unknown Worlds introduced me to the call of the void, that feeling you get looking down at this dark abyss that, by all definitions, should make you want to hightail it and run, but for some reason it's just reaching out to you to take the plunge. I'll never forget getting to the dead zone for the first time and having the ghost leviathan remind me why I shouldn't be down there. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Paper! Subnautica presents its story to you in an amazing way because it doesn't bombard you with tons of information. You kind of just get in the game and it gives you the idea that it's any other survival game. You know, get to work, make a base, eat some 
fauna. But while you're doing that stuff, you begin to see things. The game starts giving you these little inklings of a story. Picking up audio logs, even if they are just kind of like the funny Bioshock, oh no, the danger is here, and then, you know, static. Michelangelo, Leonardo, Da Vinci, they're all dead. I remain, you understand? I remain as a performance artist. They incentivize you to go to different places and discover more, and you'll go to the islands. You'll go explore the crashed aurora where you discover, oh hey, there's spaceship blueprints. Spaceship blueprints? Uh oh, for that I need 2 billion Subnautica coins, which only happen to spawn at the lowest possible pit of hell. And then, the game incentivizes you to go deeper. And deeper. And deeper. And then eventually you meet the Sea Emperor, who is basically your sweet little grandma. I played this game in early access, like many people probably did, and I'll never forget when version 1 came out and it added the ending. I can't describe how it felt to have this game that I love so much and spent so much time in its world telling me like, hey, it's time to go. The first time it dawned on me that I was cured and there was nothing else to do but build the ship, it felt surreal. There was a loop with this game and its story, just like any other early access game, where you check out the new content the devs added and it would be like, hey, cool, that's it for now, can't wait to see what's next. But when the game was finished, I couldn't do that anymore. and. As happy as I was that it was done, I couldn't help but feel a little sad. Getting on that ship and leaving the planet made me bawl like a little baby. But that's okay, this game earned my tears. Recently, Unknown Worlds announced they're working on a sequel, and yeah, I know about Below Zero, but man, this is like the main event kind of sequel. You feel me? Dog? Anyway, seeing that brought all these feelings back to me, and I just wanted to vent them somewhere. Thanks for watching. Stay wet.